Hello and welcome. In this tutorial video, I will describe how you can upload data files to the Kiwi Workbench module. You will be able to use these data files to create exploratory data analysis graphs and tables in other Kiwi module. Or you can use these data sets as source for uh, NumMem models created and run in the Workbench module. I will describe the steps necessary to upload uh, one or more data files to the Kiwi Workbench module and also describe how ultimately those data files get stored into the Kiwi database. I will also explain how Kiwi built a history of the data files that are loaded in its uh, database. I will now switch to the Workbench module. To upload one or more data files to the Workbench module, you first need to select a location where these data files will be stored. That you need to go uh, in the navigation area and expand a folder, a drug folder of interest, then a project folder, then a stage folder, and then you can select a data uh, folder, which is represented by this particular. Uh, then you need to go to and click on the file menu and then select the upload option. This little pop-up window opens and uh, this will allow you to upload the data in two different ways. First, you, need to, you can uh, select or click on the select files button. It will open uh, a window in which you can navigate to a, a different places of your local drive. And uh, Kiwi will filter the content of your selected folder to the files that can be uploaded to the system. Uh, in, general, in general terms, Kiwi can only upload ASCII files, so text-based uh, file, uh, but you can select three different types of uh, files or extensions. CSV files are data set where data fields are separated by commas. NMDAT files are also accepted and those are uh, data files in which the data fields or variables are separated with spaces. Uh, this is a plain text file but the extension must be .NMDAT. The final type of files that you can select and upload to Workbench are zip files. Those are compressed archives that may contain one or more data files. So selecting a zip file will allow you to uh, upload multiple data sets uh, in one step. Well, now I will select the CSV file as well as the NMDAT file and I will click on open. At this point, the data sets are not uploaded, but uh, information about the selections uh, is reported in this little text uh, window. To confirm the upload, you need to click on the upload, uh, upload button. Clicking on cancel will essentially cancel your selection. I will click on upload. And now the workbench module report the two files that I've selected, their types, their size, and uh, the date at uh, which the files were last modified. So in our case, it's the, the time at which we have uploaded them to the system. You can also upload uh, using uh, the second method which is um, based upon selecting a file from your uh, web browsing, uh, not web browsing, a uh, system browsing uh, application and drag the file to the pop-up window and then your zip file in my case is listed in the, uh, in the text box. And when I click upload, the zip file will be uh, it to Workbench and Workbench will automatically uncompress its content. Any CSV file that would be contained in this uh, zip file would be uh, displayed here. So in our case, we had three data file 
in the zip file, which are now showing in Workbench. So at this step, we have uploaded five different data sets to Workbench. We, um, we have not performed any kind of analysis. We have not run any model using this, uh, these data sets. We have not created any uh, EDA plot uh, based upon this data set. So these files have actually not been loaded into the uh, Kiwi database. They are not, uh, they're just uh, stored in a temporary, not necessarily temporary, but a, in a file system that is represented in Workbench. So if I show you side by side, so if I sh So if I show you side by side what is contained into Workbench or reported in Workbench and what is reported into the uh, Manage module, you can see that Manage doesn't contain any files in this data folder. For the data to be loaded into the database, you need to uh, perform one of two action. One, you can create a non-mem control stream using one of these data files um, as the input data set and run that control stream. When the run completes, this data file or the selected data file will be loaded in the, in the database and it will be reported in manage. Alternatively, you can uh, open or import this uh, one data file or multiple data files into Explore or Explore Live. The, the action of selecting this uh, Explore or Explore Live option will trigger the loading into the database. So I have open Explore for this particular uh, file. Now, if I refresh the content of manage, this file now is listed as a loaded file in the database. Kiwi assign a unique identification number to this file. And from now on, the file that is loaded in the database cannot be modified. You can use it to create um, EDA plots and tables in the explore menu, uh, module but you cannot modify this data file in the database. What you can do though is modify the file that is ref uh, shown in Workbench, which is a reflection of the file system, not the database. If you make a change to this uh, file, so I'm going to edit this data file, view edit by clicking on view edit, if I make a change to the data set by using the file editor, uh, clicking on the edit button, and just changing the case of the first variable. Just ignore and save this data set. This particular modification had no impact on the file that has been created or loaded into the database. To reflect the change made to the data set in the Kiwi database, I need to again perform one of the two actions that I mentioned previously, either run a control stream using this data file or open explore or explore live with this modified version. Now I have a new data file, a new version of the data file uh, sent to explore and also loaded into the database. Observe the change in the file ID that will be uh, reported once I click on the refresh button, went from 98 to 99. 99 is the new version of the data file in which um, the uh, case of the first uh, variable was changed. So by 
associating a unique uh, ID to each version of a data file, Kiwi can build a history of all the data file, all the version of a data file that had been loaded to the database. And you can actually uh, browse the history. Ah, I must first say, uh, select a data file. You can click on the history button and you will see this history tab showing up with the two different version of the data file. And you can explore or create um, EDA graphs or tables based upon either version of this data file using the explore or explore live button. So with this, this concludes our presentation of the upload functionality of Workbench and how this um, upload functionality is linked to the, uh, the loading of information in the Kiwi uh, database. If you have any question, uh, please refer to the uh, Kiwi user manual or um, send us questions at kiwi support at uh, cognitioncorp.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.